hello everyone and welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing a little how to clean up your house when you have absolutely no motivation whatsoever it's been the half term the kids are finally back at school today and this is the chaos so i need to tackle it because i've been staring at this all night and all morning and it's like nope i need to get on this so this is all the mess that has accumulated over the last well I'd say the last couple of days really because I've been slacking a little bit kitchen's the worst look at it yes it is I've literally done the half term completely by myself I've done all the cooking and everything by myself in the half term and it has been hard work so yeah here we go I always say if you've got washing to be done get that done first thing so either get it off the rack and get another load on or get it out on the line and get another load on because while you're tackling the chores of the house then you know your washing is washing it's doing the job for you so you can just get it out once it's done and chances are if you've got a really good day like today it'll be dry it'll be dry so um another tip definitely put on music that's going to get you motivated stick some music on get into your own little bubble and focus on yeah just kind of like having a good time so you know sing along have a little dance whatever and I always go in with a carrier bag first things first after the washing get a carrier bag a new one just go in and collect up all the rubbish you can find it makes such a difference because you're organizing your junk your rubbish to what actually needs to be there so that it makes it so much easier to sort out what you actually need in that particular room so also getting all the large bits out of the way washing if you find washing chuck it out the room chuck it out don't worry about keep taking it to the laundry basket just chuck it in a pile that's what i do so i'm collecting up all the rubbish that is accumulating in this front room and i was finding it everywhere biscuit packets down the side of the sofa chocolate bar wrappers ice cream wrappers and i'm like ew but it happens i sit there over the ice cream's not me i'm not an ice cream person but the biscuits are definitely me i will sit there in the evening when the kids are gone to bed and i'm like yes so yeah and um yeah i like to sort out any washing i've got lying around which is normally the case i normally make a pile somewhere and here is my pile look at my piles yes so i'm sorting out my piles into little piles so this is a moment of trying to get what's going upstairs what's going in the kitchen what is going into the boys room that's a downstairs so i'm just sorting for all that while i bop away to some music as you do but it does make such a difference like you get to a point where like i've made such a difference i want to keep going and that is a really good moment to be in because oh it's so satisfying to get it all done i wanted to say actually lisa venning a late happy birthday to you but i'm hoping you are really enjoying driving around in your car i bet it's absolutely amazing i remember the feeling well and i just remember feeling like i could tackle anything i can do anything i can go anywhere and it's such a fantastic feeling so i really hope you are just loving life right now you know free free and easy on the road you know oh it's great so a massive congratulations to you for one passing and two get in your car and i hope you had a wonderful birthday also karen cashett i hope i'm saying your name right karen cashett i um i wanted to say because you you mentioned about making a quilt while watching movies with your cat and dog is it soko or is it soko soko and sassy the cat oh I would love to do that. I've always wanted to make my own quilt. Like I've always wanted to do it like a personalised one for each of my boys and stuff like that. I'd really like to do that. It's given me the idea to be like, you know what? That's what I should do. Just sit there in the evening with my biscuits and my cup of tea, making a quilt while I watch all my stuff on TV. That would be so nice. I might actually get on there. How are you coming along with it anyway? Yeah. And, and what are you using? Like are you knitting one or are you like patchworking one? I'd love to know. I'd love to know so yeah let me know so yeah after i've done the decluttering of all the rubbish and taking sorting out the laundry taking out all the cups and everything because i do have cups that accumulate in the front room and that's not just me that's all of us and yeah we could say you know just take them out don't be so lazy but 
it's real life you just chill in your own home and it happens so I'm not going to be sorry about it clearing all those out I get the hoover out hoover around the sofa because you don't want to hoover the floor first because it's just ridiculous so hoover the sofa and then hoover the floors then I like to spray onto the cloth now because of the guinea pigs in there I don't want to be spraying and it's just spraying all over them or it's just like getting in the air so I just spray a little bit of sofa that is diluted in some water that I make up in my own bottles and then I'm just going around collecting all the dust which is quite a bit under that TV so collecting up that dirty little patch yes look at it all coming off makes me happy it does makes me very happy I was thinking about spending the day to try and you know find myself again give myself a bit of a pamper enjoy some quiet time put something on telly you know have my feet up but I can't with all that mess I just can't do it I have to clean it so today is going to have to be a cleaning day and I will sort myself out another time so all the stuff that I accumulated off the floor, like phone chargers and things like that, now it's not like embedded with all the rubbish. It's so much easier to just organise. So it can look really daunting at first, but once you get all that crap out, basically, it makes such a difference. It's so much easier just to sort out. And I'm going over, giving the worktop here a little clean over around the lamp as well, because it collects dust. And yeah, here we go with a little bit of my homemade concoction that I put in a bottle and I just spray the curtains. It's tesco laundry capsule mixed with some lenore and some water and i just spray around the curtains and whatnot just to make them smell a little bit better so here on the windowsill is where the cats like to chill out and watch the birds i think i've said that previously so it gets a little bit paw printy and a little bit of cat fur so going over with my sofa floor and just giving that a wipe over and and it takes a minute because i do do that quite often because I can't stand it so here it was before looking a mess yes and I will say when you finish doing a room you, you you get that feeling like oh my god I just I need a cup of tea I need to stop then definitely just stop if you get that feeling just go with it like sit down have a cup of tea make yourself a sandwich don't put on like a, an episode on Netflix or something because then you'll never get up again and just yeah take that moment because then you'll recharge you're ready and you can just carry on and go again here is what it looks like now no it's not perfect desperately want to change the sofa but that day is coming it is what it is for now at least it's clear it's decluttered it's de-dusted is that a word de-dusted i like that chase will you stop licking your balls right next to me sorry and yeah this is what it's like now I've got a parcel there which Nick needs to sort out. I've got an ironing board which needs to have its cover put back on, but it's in the wash. And after a cup of tea and a little something to eat, I am going into the kitchen. Oh, heavens above. This is bad. Like, this is really bad, to be fair. So I'm doing the same as before, going in with a carry bag. I've already put some bits in this bag and then gone out to the recycling so I can put the milk bottles and whatnot into the recycling. And now I'm collecting up all the actual rubbish. So this is the best way to start rubbish empty the dishwasher so that you can put that away and then get everything that's all over your worktops straight back into the dishwasher and it makes such a difference because at first it looks like you just you're like oh my god where do i start but that is the place to start the bin the dishwasher because then you realize it's actually not that bad it's just where you've got so much that needs to be washed in the dishwasher so let it do its job here we am just piling it all in and then i'm going to wash up everything in the sink that can't go in the dishwasher or it's too big for the dishwasher so that is going to get its good old wash over we haven't had our boiler working for about a month and nick nick fixed it bless his heart he fixed it so we've got some hot water going again it's been hard let me tell you it's been really hard but i feel for my friend because she's had the same problem for i think a couple of months now I don't know how she's coping like no heating nothing that's what we had it's awful I absolutely hate it because you don't realize how cold your house gets in the evening until your, your heaters don't work so here I am with the end nozzle of the hoover and what I'm doing is I've got a baby wipe I put a bit of sofa floor on and I'm wiping it over purely because I want to hoover the worktops so getting all like the sugar spills and anything like that just gonna suck it up I would use my handheld one or my uh cordless hoover but this house needs a proper cleanup so i'm using my beast 
and yeah with the nozzle being clean I don't feel so bad about going over the worktops and as the washing machine has finished since while I was doing the other room I'm now popping it out and I don't know if you've noticed if you've been here that long the hole has filled my hole is filled yeah so <laughs> Because Nick's now planning to build a summer house there, getting rid of that shed and that whole section there where the sandbags are, that's going to be a summer house. So we needed to dig up some mud for the foundations. So all that mud has gone into the hole, which was going to be the trampoline hole, and it's now not. So yeah, all that washing's gone out and I've come back in so I can clean the worktops, put in the sink what needs to be hand washed yet again, like all the plastics, the school bottles and all that jazz. Can you hear my guinea pigs? I picked up a Pringles box. You know where they stack all the Pringles in? In Tesco. I was in there. It was late at night. And they had um, the Pringle box there. And I was like, oh, I'm going to take that. See if the guinea pigs like it. They love it. They flipping love it. They go in there and they just popcorn. They're doing it now. Just popcorn in all over the place. Because it's their little happy Pringle box. It's like arched. They just, oh, they're just having so much fun. Bless them. There's a big rain cloud coming. Oh, I've got washing out. Anyway, I'm taking out the onions because they're good. The rest of it's going to go into my compost outside. And I'm putting the covering back into this basket, which I absolutely love. I got this from a charity shop. I think it might have been in Crowborough or Helsham. I'm not sure. But um, oven cleaner I'm using on my worktop because I need to get some hob cleaner. So I'm just going to use the oven spray. There we go. It's worked. Stinks. If you've got asthma, be careful of your lungs. If you've got any lung problems, definitely be careful because that really does hit the back of your throat. It's like, yeah, not great. So washing all the bits in the sink that are not to go in the dishwasher, as I said. Now the worktops are clean and we're getting there. We are getting there. Look. Oh, honestly, I love this kitchen. Now I've done it. It's not complete. Uh, I've got some orders being placed and I'm waiting for them to turn up so that I can do the rest of the kitchen especially my laundry area as you've seen it's an absolute eyesore here it is yes hoovering up the floor always hoover the floor last because everything from your worktop is gonna make a mess on the floor if you know if you're like me and you spill sugar and all that sort of thing yeah, here we go, putting the old socks on my pipe in. I swore I wasn't going to do this after I painted the walls. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not now painted them walls. Those walls are looking beautiful. But here I go, putting socks on the pipe in. And another load is going on. I'm actually flowing with the washing today, which is good because it really needs it, especially when the kids have been off for two weeks. Keeping on top of the laundry has been really hard. So a bit of methods going on the floor now. This is an all-purpose floor cleaner, so like all floors can have this. It does give a good clean, but I'm getting really fed up with the smell now, so I really want to change to something a little bit different. I'm going to have a little look and see what I can find, but this was it before. Yeah, I'm not having that. The smell of ketchup on that plate. Oh, my, my whole skin literally crawl and my toes curl. There we are. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in my next one. I've got so much more to share with you. So yeah, I will see you soon.